Hello everyone. So on a video about this router, JX commented saying, could I test it using a, well not using the phone line uh, based internet, and instead using a mobile dongle, uh, and especially a mobile dongle that isn't provided by Vodafone, and with a um, non- Vodafone SIM in it. So this currently has, you can just about see that, a, uh, a three branded SIM in and uh, it's a three branded dongle or a USB stick. A ZTE MF627, fairly old now. Um, but works for the purposes of this test. Oops, might help if I didn't put that in directly and I put it in the holder. Pay attention. Then that needs to uh, plug into the side of the router. There's the USB socket, which is normally covered by that bit of plastic slides off and then we need to get the USB stick and plug it in. Well I guess we could have probably also plug it in at the back here as well however the benefit of the USB stick especially this one is it sticks out the side and you can see the, um, the power light on it or the status light. So let's switch that on, let it boot up, that'll take probably a minute or two and we'll come back to it. I'm going to leave this video running so you can see the length of time it takes to, to start up and for all these lights to, uh, to sort themselves out. Um, and uh, yeah, skip through it if you need to, but otherwise I'll be back when it's booted. Okay, it's booted and my laptop has joined the Wi-Fi. However, I do not yet have internet. I think this needs to go uh, solid white for uh, the mobile internet to be working. So that's gone uh, uh, white and flashing at the moment. I still do not have internet access on the laptop. And now I do. And yeah, that's now gone solid. Uh, the internet light over here is still flashing red because the internet socket is unplugged and presumably this thing thinks it's in failover mode. Um, however, when using a non-Vodafone uh, dongle and a non-Vodafone SIM, there are definitely some caveats and some problems I've come across. So I'm now going to move over to the laptop and uh, hopefully show you those. OK, I've got a rather precarious camera set up, so let's hope that this... Uh, stays working. So what we can see here is I am now connected to the Vodafone Wi-Fi for that router which you've just seen and I can ping OpenDNS. However if I try and go to some websites try going to bbc.co.uk I found in its default mode you would get this screen uh, always. It would say um, up at the top here, no internet connection intercept, 
uh, but then in the wording it will say your Vodafone Wi-Fi hub is connected to the internet. Well, um, okay, you click on continue and it uh, just loops, you get the same message over and over again. If I do uh, bbc.co.uk, it still will just not work. What I have found, if I do HTTPS, bbc.co.uk, it also does not work in the default configuration. What you can do, which seems to revive HTTPS settings, is go into the network settings of your computer and set a DNS server. In this uh, example, I'm going to use OpenDNS, so 208.67.222.222 and uh, 220.220 for the, uh, the secondary DNS. Now, if I refresh this page, that should or often, yeah, loads. So that one is okay. If I do another uh, website that I haven't been to, so let's do uh, sky uh, news.sky.com, I think. Okay, and that did load straight off. Let's do another uh, test. Okay, those are all now loading reliably with a different. Um, DNS server, what I did find is that HTTP websites only still failed to load. Yeah, so uh, this website, which I know can be accessed using HTTP only, still tries to do the no internet connection intercept. So in summary, um, when not using the Vodafone router, how it's supposed to be used with the Vodafone SIM and, uh, and their own uh, USB dongle. Um, when using 3, for example, DNS does not work unless you set it on the network settings of the computer you're using, or the console or whatever you've got plugged in, uh, or connected wirelessly. Um, and even if you do have it working like this, uh, using um, OpenDNS, for example, any page which isn't HTTPS will still fail to load. Uh, the Vodafone router will intercept the request uh, and get in the way and stop it loading. Uh, ways around that would be to use a VPN server um, so that once you're connected to the VPN, uh, the Vodafone router wouldn't be able to intercept that request and, and mess it up. Uh, but yeah, it does work and didn't require me to change any settings at all on the uh, Vodafone router, at least when using it with three, uh, it's still set to its default uh, contract APN. Uh, I'll show you the setting actually as well. Uh, I have changed the settings, but it, I didn't need to. Um, so you need to log into the router's IP address, go to expert mode, go to internet and go to mobile data. And you can see here I've set it as a custom on uh, three internet, but actually even if it's on the default contract, uh, that still worked straight away for me. Um, the other customization I've made down here is I have set open DNS within the DNS servers, but that setting doesn't appear to work. Um, even with that set, as you've seen in this demonstration, I still have to uh, use a custom DNS setting on the computer, uh, and even then the router still has issues with non-encrypted websites uh, where it tries to intercept the um, the access to that site and stops you getting to it basically. Um, but yeah, interesting. It does get there. Don't get particularly good speeds <laughs> through uh, through that dongle. I know that I can get about 20 megabits per second here with um, a higher spec mobile router uh, on three. Um, but yeah, this is a particularly abysmal speed through that uh, ZTE dongle. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notification switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.